टू टू लोक यू मैं सर डॉक्टर विजेंद्र सिंह ऑन यूट्यूब चैनल बी एस ब्रो एट द रेट ऑफ जूलॉजी वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फीडिंग मेकेजम ऑफ एम्फ्योक्सिस और बैंक्यूस्टोमा इट इज़ माई हम्बल रिक्वेस्ट टू ऑल ऑफ यू इफ एनी बॉडी डज नॉट हैव सब्सक्राइब द यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट नाउ बिफोर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द फिटिंग मेकेनिज्म वी विल सी द जनरल डायग्राम ऑफ एनाटोमी ऑफ दिस एनिमल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एट एंटी मोस्ट इट इज़ हैविंग औरल हुड ऑन देयर एज ऑफ औरल हुड देर आर औरल सीरी दिज आर कीमोसेंसर रेस्पॉन्सिबल टू सेंस द फूड कंटेंट इन द वाटर एंड दिस वन इट इज द फिंगर लाइक मॉडिफिकेशन ऑफ द एपिडर्मिस ऑफ द रूफ ऑफ वेस्टिब्यूल दिज हैविंग ग्रू एंड इन दिज ग्रू देर आर लार्ज नंबर ऑफ सीलिया विच आर रेस्पॉन्सिबल टू क्रिएट द वाटर वॉर्टेक्स नेक्स्ट इज दैट इज द विलम दिस वन इट इज विलम एंड विलम हैविंग इंट्रोस्टोम इन सेंटर एट द पोस्टियर एज ऑफ विलम हैविंग लार्ज नंबर ऑफ टेंटिकल्स एट टेन टू इलेवन टेंटिकल्स दिज टेंटिकल्स आर सेंसिटिव हैविंग sensory papillae on their surface these are uh, also responsible to short out the microscopic organism or food particles the size of introstome increase or decrease with the help of concentric ring present at the uh, surface of the villum ring next you see this one from this side to uh, up to the villum it is the pharynx pharynx this one pharynx but pharynx itself having two parts or demarcated by into two parts with the help of uh, a pair of groove on the later wall at the at anterior side of the pharynx this one this lateral uh, groove this lateral groove it is the peribranchial band having a groove along with cilia in the groove these are pair and present on either side of the wall they are fused or linked attached on the upper mid dorsal side to the epipharyngeal groove this one it is the epipharyngeal groove and on lower side or ventral side it is linked with the endostyle this one endostyle endostyle having cilia and glandular cell uh, tract at the bottom or that is a strip of the glandular cells and the ciliary tract next uh, this one epi uh, uh, pharyngeal part this one pharyngeal part having uh, or post pharyngeal part having the cilia on the lateral wall of the pharynx but anterior side it is pre branchial this one it is the post branchial or branchial region this one it is branchial region or this one it is the pre branchial region of the pharynx pre branchial region of pharynx having no uh, gill slits but branchial region having gill slits on the lateral wall next it is the uh, this one esophagus from it is very small size esophagus 
and then from esophagus uh, it is the gut mid gut and the at the junction of esophagus and mid gut there is uh, extension outward and ventral side this is the liver or mid gut diverticulum and then it is the uh, mid gut posterior part open into ns this one ns now we are going a uh, general mechanism of feeding in uh, this animal it is uh, a microscopic animals uh, ciliary or filter feeder uh, and feeding on diatoms protozoa and other pelagic microscopic organisms suspended in sea water the animal leads a sedentary life buried in sand and with only the entire body and protruding out into the water food particles are filtered from the current of water into pharynx through mouth and finally going out through artery pore the rotatory movement of cilia of wheel organ cause a whirling current of water into mouth now we are going to now we are going to discuss about wheel organs it is a patch of uh, elevation or uh, band or finger like projections of epidermis of the roof of uh, vestibule ca cavity this one it is a vestibule cavity overall this one vestibule and its roof having such type of elevations of the skin that is the epidermal skin and in these elevations there are grooves these are grooves and these grooves having cilia this groove having cilia central one groove it is very highly extended up to the uh, anterior end side and there is a formation of uh, depression at their nodes that is known as hx pit this one it is hx pit whose function is not known but this one hx uh, grew it is very large this overall uh, structure is called wheel organ it is responsible to create a vortex of water and the vortex of water having microscopic food particles these are trapped by the mucus which is secreted by hx groove and uh, other accessory finger like projections these uh, trapped food particles in uh, mucus are directed toward the posterior side into the pharynx through introstome before entering into intro uh, into pharynx via introstome it is the velum having uh, a sphincter ring like sphincter which is responsible to maintain the size of introstome and uh, these tentacles are attached these are known as uh, willer tentacles having papillae on their general uh, surface these are present on the posterior edge of posterior edge of filum ring at the posterior side these also act as stener and maintain uh, or uh, short out the microscopic food particles when there is inflow of water current then these uh, oral series also bend entire sides and these also function as stener or sieve to short out the microscopic food particles the chemoreceptor present on buccal series and 
uh, willer tentacles are uh, responsible to sense the or test the nature of water current and food particles. Food particles thus are escaped from the main current are caught up and concentrated by the mucus secreted by the head sex screw and pit in the oral hood. These food particles are pushed through introstome into pharynx by whirling action of wheel organs. Periodically the artery pore close the artery pore this one at this side artery pore it close and the transverse muscles which are present at the bottom of the uh, atrium these uh, muscles or transverse muscles are responsible uh, to form a sudden contraction this contraction set up a reversal of water current or rejection of water current ejecting out forcefully the uh, through the introstome and mouth as a result villa tentacle and buccal ciri are able to shed off large food or sand particle accumulated on them now uh, to maintain the water current uh, to flow inside the pharynx also having uh, their important roles pharynx play the most important part in food collection the outward beating of lateral cilia on gill bars and arterial cilia on their outer surface drive the water current through gill slits into atrium and finally passing out through artery pore this also facilitates the inflow of fresh water current through mouth what happened to uh, food particles in pharynx inside pharynx the food particles get entrapped in mucus secreted by glandular tracts of endostyle and by pharyngeal epithelium this one it is the endostyle and pharyngeal epithelia on the lateral surface on lateral surface lateral wall of the pharynx the endostylar cilia and the frontal cilia of gill beat uh, gill bars beats uh, upward so that mucus seats uh, laden with food particles move dorsally toward the epipharyngeal groove the food particles move upward upward direction along the side of uh, pharyngeal wall with the help of uh, ciliary movement uh, that is uh, uh, frontal cilia and uh, other cilia which are present on the gill bar these are responsible to move the mucus seat toward the upward direction if, uh, in case of endostylar region the food particles trapped in mucus and mucus is then uh, forced to move anterior direction toward the peripharyngeal band and via peripharyngeal band this mucus cord again move upside through the peripharyngeal band toward the epipharyngeal groove on both side and meet at the mid ventral side uh, mid dorsal side mid dorsal side at the anterior side of epipharyngeal groove now digestion of food particles digestive enzymes are secreted from two sources midgut diverticulum and uh, midgut epithelia this one it is the midgut diverticulum and this one it is the midgut uh, intestine that is the midgut epithelium layer the food cords from pharynx pass through the esophagus into midgut the food cord that, that is mucus cord which is collected at the posterior end of this epipharyngeal groove at this side it is moved toward the uh, esophagus and from esophagus it move into the midgut diverticulum 
द फूड कोर्स फ्रॉम फेरिंग्स पास थ्रू ओसोफेगस इन टू मिडगट बाई लेटल ट्रैक ऑफ सिलिया इट इज डायरेक्टेड इन टू मिडगट डाइवर्टिकल दैट इज एट दिस ईसोफेगस देर आर लेटरल सिलिया विच आर बीटिंग डाउन वर्ड एंड द फूड कोड दैट इज द म्यूकस कोड इट इज डायरेक्टेड टुअर्ड द टुअर्ड दिस वन दिस वन दैट इज मिडगट डाइवर्टिकुलम the food particles or mucus mucus coats then move downward toward the downward beating of the cilia of midgut which are present on lateral uh, wall and then at bottom it is uh, the cilia which beat uh, toward the posterior side and force force the uh, mucus to move back into the midgut and in after entering into midgut at the iliocolic uh, junction ilio. there are cilia large number of cilia which rotate uh, in a circular form and responsible to form a circle of the uh, to form a circle of the midgut the food cords undergo rotation due to ciliary activity this break up the food material into still small particles truly mixing uh, with enzymes the food and delay the backward passage of food to allow more time for the action of the enzyme digestion is mainly extracellular but intracellular digestion also take place which is unique as it is unknown in other vertebrates intracellular uh, digestion take place mainly in the phagocytic cells of midgut diverticulum at this site midgut diverticulum the digestive enzymes are amylase lipase and protease pepsin is absent in the digestive enzymes of the bronchiostoma digested uh, digested food digested food is absorbed partially in midgut but mostly in hindgut and the undigested material is finally thrown out the uh, ns as a fecal matter occasionally some food particles uh, may pass into rtl cavity and eventually engulf by the phagocytic cells present in the renal papillae at at this site these are surface on bottom there are renal papillae on the bottom Uh, of uh, atrium this capture the food particles and engulf and digest them thank you and hopes more like comment share and subscriptions thank you very much